I strongly feel the tab should endorse me and the voters of our community should vote for me as your next state representative for the following reasons. I'm the only candidate who has run t for town-wide office and I've done it four times. I'm the only one who has been elected by a majority of the voters in our community and who is currently representing the entire community at the local level. My only obligation will be to represent you, the voter, the average citizens and residents of the community, not the unions, not the PACs, and not the special interest groups. I've taken no money or other support from them and I'll be under no pressure to do their bidding. I'm likewise under no obligation to any community or business leaders. I know that it's your right to determine who is going to be the next state representative, not theirs. We have talked about many important issues throughout the course of this campaign, such things as health care reform, creating affordable housing, rebuilding infrastructure, improving education, energy conservation and green building, and managing budgets and writing the economy. Let me highlight some of my experience with these issues. I have worked in the healthcare field for 10 years as a hospital administrator and vice president. I have run my own business for 20 years, employing people, making payrolls, and successfully managing budgets and projects. I have built affordable housing in both the public and private sector. I've managed public school renovations and rebuilding projects. I have constructed new infrastructure, including roads, sidewalks, curbs, utilities, and storm drainage systems. And I've also employed numerous energy conservation measures and green building techniques in a wide variety of construction and renovation projects. In short, I have direct, hands-on working experience with many of the important issues that must be addressed by the legislature. This is the kind of knowledge you don't pick up in academia or in policy position papers, and you don't learn it from some special interest group telling you what to do. There is no substitute for working experience out in the real world. I consider myself to be the moderate candidate. At times, I'm too conservative for the liberals, and other times, I'm too liberal for the conservatives. Neither camp is too, totally happy with me, and as far as I'm concerned, that's just fine. I consider each issue based on its own merits, not on which political faction first thought of it. Throughout this campaign and my tenure on the town council, I've stressed the need for fiscal accountability. I will not waver from that basic philosophy. Whether it's the seductiveness of the progressive agenda or the pressures from the entrenched special interest groups, fairness to the taxpayer and the average citizen will always be my top priority. In 2005, the citizens of Watertown overwhelmingly rejected a tax increase in the form of the Community Preservation Act. I was in agreement with the majority of residents and advocated for the defeat of this proposal. While the CPA has been adopted and has proven to be beneficial in Cambridge, I was well aware that the people of Watertown were not prepared to increase their tax burden. I believe this to be even truer today, and I pledge to the people of this district that I would do my best to control their tax burden. Furthermore, during my tenure on the Town Council, I have consistently tried to maintain expenditures and control fees and other charges. I do not work at some ivory tower or on behalf of some special interest group or association. I work in the private sector in a common industry that we can all relate to. This background and perspective gives me a much better understanding of and appreciation for the everyday problems and economic challenges that people in our community constantly face. Most people I know have never had a job where they can take a sabbatical or a leave of absence to pursue some exciting new opportunity that comes up. The Office of State Representative is clearly not an entry-level position. Over the past years, I have served our community in elective office, 
on a number of appointed committees and in a wide variety of community groups and organizations. The Office of State Representative is clearly a full-time obligation, and if elected, I pledge to commit my complete time and energy on behalf of the residents of our district. Finally, my three young children are the fourth generation of Corbett's to live in Watertown. I am clearly not just passing through. Quite simply, I've put in the time and effort, and I've demonstrated my dedication to the community. I have earned the privilege of serving as your next state representative. It would be honored to do so. Thank you.